Women are coming forward and demanding their money back tonight after they say they pay their contractor thousands but ended up with zero results. One woman set to build a literacy academy, the other a nail tech school. WRG's Brian Didlake has been digging into this for weeks and found out this contractor not only does not have a license but has allegedly been forging documents to get contracts. I pay for doors. There are no doors. I pay for the walls to be um, skim coated, painted, primed. They're not done. Work left undone and Shayna Wilson is at her wits end. I'm left in a dilemma. Like I'm supposed to be opening in a couple of weeks and I don't even know where the funds are going to come from. Like. I paid you to do a service and now I'm having to double pay that. Wilson was set to build a literacy academy for pre-K aged children off of Mount Moriah. With her opening looming and work unfinished, she sent her contractor a demand letter telling Andre Gilliam of AVE Concrete Contractors to return $72,000. That's just a portion of the $100,000 Wilson says she paid. I wanted a place where children can come, be safe, learn, grow, and be ready for kindergarten. And here I have this person who's just decided I'm going to take all of that away in this period of time. It hurts. Wilson says even for the work that was done, it wasn't up to code. The fire doors are supposed to close on their own, and then it don't close right. So you have to do all of this to close it. Wilson tells me she has been dealing with Gilliam for a year. Work was scheduled to be completed in two months. What Wilson wants now is her money back. I have to be fair, has he tried to give any money back, like, actively? No. No? No. All of his messages um, are like, if you dispute it, with the bank, then they'll give you your money back. It's unclear why Gilliam couldn't issue a refund himself, but she did take it up with the bank. Wilson says she was told since she signed a check in a contract, it couldn't be claimed as fraud. However, she was able to get 24000 back by reversing a transaction on her credit card. She's still out 49000 your news leader started digging, contacting the State Board of Contractors. The board shows at least one citation for unlicensed activity. And it doesn't stop there. We took a look at the contract between Dr. Wilson and Gilliam. We looked up his license number and found out through the state it belonged to another company. That company sent out this letter to Dr. Wilson saying that they're not associated with Gilliam or AVE Concrete Contractors. During our investigation, we also found this wasn't the first time Gilliam used a license number that wasn't his. He did the same thing with the Black Pearl Nail Academy. Here we found another contract from Gilliam, but this time an expired license number from yet another company. I have had a nightmare to happen. Um, the Black Pearl Nail Academy actually opened six years ago, uh, and last year in June, we decided to expand uh, from a 1,200 square foot building to a 12,000 square foot building. Duria Caldwell also says the work was never completed. The top of it is supposed to be sealed and done. You can see in the corners, they just put it up there. At first, it wouldn't even stay. It wouldn't even nail down. Caldwell says right now she is 110,000 in the hole, and while that stings, what hurts more is that she was the one to recommend Gilliam to Wilson. Only because Mr. Gilliam had done work for me before, done a beautiful job on two different buildings that I own or homes that I own, which those were residential. When did you first, first start noticing something was wrong? It would be June, June of last year, uh, when he gave me the bit. When he said, "Okay, you can go ahead and have your." grand opening. My grand opening was June 23rd, 2023. Uh, and after the grand opening, well, during the grand opening, I said, well, we don't have an occupancy. I don't know what that's supposed to be like. He was like, we're going to get that done. No problem. Caldwell showed us these pictures to prove that didn't happen. And to be clear, he was the one that's supposed to help you get that license. Not help me. He was supposed to secure it. That's what's in the contract. The contractor is supposed to secure the occupancy license, supposed to secure all inspections. Uh, that's the plumbing 
everything, mechanical, electrical, engineering, all of those. Caldwell has since gotten a certificate of occupancy by working with other contractors. Hello, this message is for Mr. Gillum. This is Brian Ditlake with WREG. We did try and reach out by using the number and address listed on Wilson and Caldwell's contracts. All right, he's not home. But no answer or call back. Your news leader also checked with the Better Business Bureau and saw AVE concrete contractors had an F on its report with multiple complaints and wasn't accredited. I help people to grow their business. So not only did you affect my business, you affected that of so many other people that I'm trying to help. Caldwell says this experience has left a sour taste, saying she is trying to make a difference for entrepreneurs. <laughs> The same goes for Dr. Wilson as she tries to complete some of the work herself, saying she still has hope her school will fill the gaps in child care and literacy as well. Teach one, reach one. I've always said that. And I think he's kind of broken that for me. Both women have filed police reports against Gilliam. As far as I'm concerned, he's a fraud. The state has said since Gilliam is not a licensed contractor, all they can do is send him a citation and a letter. However, they say with the allegations and the documents presented, he could be charged under Tennessee Code, where it states any contractor taking money without performing work may be prosecuted by law enforcement as theft. We will continue to follow up on the situation as it continues to develop. But for now, for your news leader, Brian Ditley, WREG, News Channel 3.